Norm, thank you for coming back to Workspace. Can you say a little bit about your relationship to Workspace and our art galleries? Uh, yes. I love Workspace. It gives me an opportunity to show my work, to meet other artists, and to be part of the community. Well, I have Parkinson's disease. I was diagnosed in 2008. I retired from my lifetime job as a Jewish fundraiser in uh, December of uh, 2012. Um, I was looking for something to do. When I was when I was a little boy, my mom was an amateur artist. And she was really good. Uh, she would schlep me. She would take me to the uh, school with her, and uh, I would go into classes with other kids my age, five, six years old, and I made a lot of worms in clay and an ashtray and little things like that, but I really enjoyed it. And then when I was in college, I attempted to uh, apply to the art school and it's the Tyler Art School at Temple University and I had to meet with the dean and I took my abstract work and he took one look at it and he said, you know Norm, the problem with modern art is you can spit on a canvas and call it art. I knew the at that point, whatever I said to him didn't mean anything. And he let me down easily by saying, well, we'll take you into art school, but you have to repeat the first two years of the year. And so in 2015, when I had already done a lot of artistic work, I had pneumonia. I have pneumonia a lot. And I was spitting up, and I spit up blood. And I took a picture of the blood so I could show it to my uh, my doctor, you know, and my pulmonologist. I wanted to show him what it looked like. And then it hit me. You could spit on a canvas and call it. Right. So I took a picture of the spit, and uh, I had the picture. I blew it up. Staples and had it, had it blown up, and I put it on the canvas. So I spit on the canvas. Discouragement from my mom because whenever I mentioned art to her, she would tell me, You know, Norman, artists, most artists start. You want to have a family, you don't want to be an art. And even the greats, like Van Gogh, were penniless when they died. So that had an effect on me too. But years later, you just rediscovered art, um, and was it after your Parkinson's diagnosis? Yes. And how has art worked in relationship with your uh, physical challenges? Well, initially, I didn't have tremors the way I do today. Um, so it was a gradual process. Uh, Parkinson's is a uh, non-curable degenerative disease, which means it keeps getting worse. And uh, I'm in my 13th year now with Parkinson's wow. disease. And there are times when my hand is shaking violently. So people say, well, how can you paint? I could switch hands. Uh, I could use two hands. Or I can incorporate it in the shaking and do impressionistic or, or do different type of art. And after all, if I could put spit on a canvas and call it art, I could put paint on a canvas and call it art. I did a, uh, a three foot by four foot and I never brought it in, but it's a Jackson Pollock type painting. And I did it with my two grandsons. And they had a wonderful time 
Well, art should be fun. Well, I like showing my work, and I get nice responses from it, which often surprises me and encourages me. But uh, I have, through my neurologist, uh, addressed some Parkinson's support groups and showed them my art and explained that they could, they could be artists too. You know, I used to walk down the street and see a gallery and look in the window and say, God, that's beautiful. You know, I think there's something like that.